Hi, my name's Martha. I'm in the psychology department and I'm an instructor there. So I teach mostly online, although I've also taught mixed mode and reduced seat active. So I'm really excited to have won the Juvenile Award this year. I know that there is so much competition here at UCF and there are so many outstanding faculty and they are doing incredible things in their courses. So while I was preparing for this award, one of the things that I really noticed was the different ways that I use to create student engagement within my class. It's really important to me that students in my class feel connected, not only to my course, but to UCF. So I want them to be engaged in my course, but I also want them to feel connected to campus so that they feel like a knight. So I use a variety of techniques in my courses to facilitate that. So I organize my classes so that there is something for everyone. I use universal design principles. So my class is open a third at a time. I leave my exams open for more than a week. I post all assessments the first day. I, I understand that the students in my class are A, a lot of transfer students, B, a lot of students working. They need flexibility. Now, I really like teaching at UCF. I think there's a lot of support for faculty between iLab, CDL, FCTL. There is so much support for faculty to be creative and innovative in their teaching strategies. I like to think of myself as an experimental instructor. So kind of like an experimental chef. So sometimes that's a home run and sometimes you get fried celery. My students aren't bored face to face. I don't want them to be bored just because my class is online. So when I meet with my instructional designer, I'm usually like, okay, this is what I would do face to face. How can we translate that energy online? How can I get the same response from students? So I do poll a lot, and part of that is I want to see what students think and kind of what's working, what's not working, because I'm constantly tinkering in the class. But it's also a way for me to keep my finger on the pulse of the room. So in an auditorium, I can feel the energy from students. I can see the expressions on their faces. I know if they're engaged. Online, I don't feel that same connection, and I suspect they don't either. So I use the tools I use to keep my finger on the pulse. I've also started using Panopto, and the reason for that was students told me they really want short videos embedded in each module with kind of what's covered. And I have that as a module front page, but I think the video is actually kind of a smart thing. It allows us to, A, auto caption, so we have full accessibility, and you can edit it and add polls in it, and students really like polls. So I have polls throughout my web course. I change my teaching strategies mid-semester sometimes based on the class. And students report they really like that I'm that responsive, that I understand kind of where they're coming from. I, you know, my goal as a teacher is not to torture them or make them do something that's not working over and over and over. If I'm doing something in the class, it's because I have a specific goal. I do think that student engagement drives their satisfaction in their learning. But I think students appreciate that I'm willing to try new things I try to design my courses for maximum flexibility for any student that's in the class. I also, you know, design it where each module has a variety of ways that I've presented the information. So they have the PowerPoints, they have my notes, they have videos, they have podcasts, they have all sorts of things in there so that if something interests you, I want you to be able to explore that further. Again, to me, education shouldn't be about the grade you're getting as much as, ooh, I want to learn more about that. So